to see the end of the city and this tower, Satan, um, in the plain of Shinar, called Babel, we have to read in Genesis 11. Verse 5, it says, But the Lord came down to see the city and the tower which the sons of men had built. Remember, this city was built with bricks, meaning fleshly. It had pitch for tar, meaning it didn't allow anything in. It was probably a very strict religion. And it had for a tower this king of the flesh named Satan, which God never appointed. God never wanted this type of worship and service. He wanted a, a spiritual worship and spiritual service because he is spirit. And the Lord said, Indeed, the people are one, and they all have one language. And this is what they begin to do. Now nothing that they propose to do will be withheld from them. So this is a strange thing for God to say. Um, he's saying nothing will be withheld from them. Isn't it God that gives? So what God is saying is this principality, this king of this flesh, he does indeed have power to give whatever men ask, should he want to give it. And they were standing together as a strong kingdom, as a strong religion. And Satan gave him whatever they desired. And God said, look, this will not do, because Satan will give them too much. You know, elsewhere we read in Ezekiel that um, God said of the principalities that were over uh, 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 Sodom and Gomorrah, that they were too well looked after. And that's why they fell into sin. So God says, look, this Tower of Babel, they are standing together as one, and Satan is giving them everything they want. This will not do. We cannot have this. Because a fleshly religion, I don't want. I want them to serve me in spirit. So what God does is he chops up this kingdom of Satan. He wounds Satan's kingdom and he breaks it up into 70 different pieces, appointing a principality for each and every one of those 70 pieces. Now you can count the table of nations, it comes to 70. And it's a very important to number, a number to remember in future because that whole number of principalities that were supposed to look after us and care for us as, as babes, we one day have to rule and reign over them. So it's important to see the spiritual side of this. God is spirit and he wants us to serve him in spirit. What they did is they ended up having a fleshly religion, serving him in flesh. And that was not good enough. God is spirit and he wants us to serve him in spirit. And we can clearly see the workings of of a fleshly religion in the Tower of Babel, in the plain of Shinar.